Okay, now using the distort tool. I very rarely use the distort tool, but anyway, I'm just gonna show you what it does and maybe in the future you would need this tool in your projects, okay? So basically these ones are the effect of the distort tool. And believe it or not, this one here, it originally a, was a, a rectangle. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to demonstrate here. So if I click on the rectangular tool and create a rectangle like that, and I'll create, I'll make it blue. Okay. I'll remove the outline. Okay. Now the distort tool is in this icon here, interactive distort tool. It's it's together with the blend, contour, drop shadow icons. So click on the distort tool and then when you click on the distort tool you're gonna have uh, presets and some of the properties in here in the property bar. So in the presets if you mouse over in the presets you could see a a preview of what's gonna be the result. Okay? So you can just experiment on that one let's say push pull number five. Okay this normally shows up but just ignore that and that would be fine okay so so that's the uh, that's one of the preset and there's one interesting here is the twister here so if I click on twister one okay this one will show this one will this is the result of the of the uh, distortion and you can you can probably use this in some of the backgrounds and so anyway that's one of the the uh, the distortion uh, preset let's say I'm gonna make a star the concern and it's a star I'm gonna call her the star right? remove the outline now let's try to distort it without using the preset so I click on the distort tool okay, I won't use the preset but in here, see I, there are nodes. I just click on one node and click and drag. Then suddenly I can create some very nice shapes. Okay. So that's a shape. And uh, let's do some distortion on text. Okay, like the sample here. Okay. Let's make, uh, I'll just put a I'll just put my name here and let's distort this one here so okay I'm going to choose a different font let's say this kind of font here I'll make it say blue okay now let's start distorting this I go to my distort icon here so I click and drag anywhere maybe there so it's a it's more of playing around with the distort tool and see what effect you can get and uh, maybe you might need it in the future so text distort tool can also be applied on text and also objects actually this is a nice nice design here 